Let me ask you a question. How good are you at sharing your faith? I mean, maybe not TV sharing where you just walk up to someone randomly and declare that they need to know the Lord, but in a normal conversation with people that have honest doubts or a kind of angry attitude towards faith in general. Do you feel you're good enough at doing that? What happens when you feel you're not good enough? How do you answer the call to live boldly when you feel you're not worthy? Let's talk about that as we meet in the upper room. Our devotional for the day is entitled Confidence to Witness for Monday, October 12th, 2020. Our scripture reading is Matthew chapter 11, verses 1 through 11. Our scripture verse is, Jesus said, Truly I tell you, among those born of women, there has not risen anyone greater than John the Baptist. Yet, whoever is the least in the kingdom of heaven is greater than he. That's Matthew chapter 11, verse 11 from the New International Version. Our thought for the day is this. Because Jesus died for me, I can live boldly for him. Maybe you don't know where to find today's scripture lesson or devotional. Log on to upperroom.org slash devotionals. On that page, you'll see a link that clicks you to today's devotion. If you're looking at this at a different date, just simply put the date for today's devotional in the search engine and you'll be able to find it quickly. Go ahead, pause. We'll wait for you. Well, the author of today's devotional shares a story that probably you have experienced or someone near you has. This interesting and honest call to share Jesus it sometimes gets confusing when you bump up against the reality of people who may not know him. And this idea of the author sharing with someone who happened to be better off, better educated, and better spoken than them. This conflict of their tongue holding up and feeling like they were saying all the wrong things. And this reaction of feeling like they're not good enough. What's interesting is the gospel isn't about you. In fact, if you fail, it kind of adds to the gospel because we declare ourselves as failures and Jesus as Savior. It took a while for this devotional author to think about that and process that. Our, our scripture verse reminds us of this, that John the Baptist, who knew what God was doing, who was calling out in the streets exactly what God was doing before anybody else had a clue, is great in the kingdom of heaven. But anyone who knows Jesus has this upper hand. We know not only that there's a need for repentance, but we know the answer and the reason for that. That's the story. The story isn't how well off you are, how well educated you are, how well you can speak. The story is the Spirit of God written in your heart, that you're faithfully following Jesus each day, that his work in you, is restoring you and, re and recalling you back to righteousness. You can do that whether you're poor or rich. You can do that whether you're educated or, or not. You can do that whether you're well-spoken or not. It's a change of being, not a change of position. Perhaps today you've been struggling with that. You may have already had this experience in your life and you're kind of saying, I, I give up. I I other people may be called to do that, but I just get tongue-tied. Or I don't have the answers that people want. Maybe the truth is, is that the only answer is Jesus. And you have Jesus. Try today to pray about this. To release that guilt on your life that you're not good enough. So that you can walk boldly knowing that the only message you're sharing is Jesus. Not you, not your success, not your failures, not your eloquence. Living boldly because Jesus is the answer, not me. Let's live like that today. 
Let's close with a prayer found in our devotional. Heavenly Father, may your love and the knowledge that our value is from Jesus Christ help us to share the gospel boldly with others. Amen. Thanks again for joining us today. You can find links to theupperroom.org plus these video devotional times on the website that's on the screen in front of you. Plus, there are more interactive features like requesting a prayer request or asking a question. We pray that God blesses you until we meet again in the Upper Room.